Davey, what was the role your mom played in training you? Was it technique or just holding you accountable for putting in the laps? How would you compare or contrast her to the stories we hear about Jeannie Carmichael? Hmm. Meanie Jeannie? Meanie Jeannie is, I would honestly call her a saint compared to my mom's. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah. Meanie Jeannie, like, obviously I'm, I, I love Jeannie. I sat down with her in Daytona and we, and we talked for a while, but she was never mean to me. It yeah. was always more so strict towards Ricky and, and strict towards making sure he did what he had to do. Moto, 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 lap time, lap time, lap times. My mom, you know, she had me work with Gary Bailey. She had me work with Tishner. She had me work with yep. Simix one time. I had to work with, you know, a bunch of people and she took all of their input and then figured out when I read with everyone what I was doing better and what they were doing better. Yeah. And put it all together to where every day it was work, 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 yeah. work, work, and, and sections and motos and training, whether it be on the bike or off the bike to a certain extent. Um, she didn't really know what to do off the bike so much back then. Right. You know, she had Alden come over one time and show me, you know, what to do, like pull-ups and push-ups and stuff. Right. But, I mean, dude, she had a pull-up and dip bar built under the trailer for us to travel <laughs> around with. We would jump rope every morning, every night. We would go for jogs and bicycles. But yeah. my mom, my mom was – hands down the most brutal um i didn't like being hit by gary but hands down my mom was was just super strict wow super you know anal about every little thing that we did right or wrong yeah. and i mean i get it i get her whole point of you know wanting the best for everybody um uh, but yeah no she 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 makes genie look look nice wow Okay. Well, that's coming from yeah, the sun. Yeah, yeah, from the yeah, sun. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Ricky could probably say the same about me well, to my mom. Again, that same trip in '99, going to Ricky's, she yelled at him for not doing the figure eights one day. We rode three days. Yeah. He didn't do the figure eights one day. She started yelling at him. He's a na he's a two time national champion yeah. at this point. And I'm going, like, what? What? You know? Yeah. And and then Big Rick got into it. And then Big Rick, Rick, Ricky snapped back at Big Rick. Yeah. And I'm going, and we're just like kicking to the dirt. This was super awkward, right? And I'm just going, I cannot believe this dude is being treated like this. Like he's, you know, like he's yeah. gnarly. Yeah. Didn't matter. I won. I won Saint, no, I won Indianapolis in 2006 and got yelled at. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. I'm like, I would just won. Yeah. And no, she freaked on me. Really? But yeah, yeah. if I missed figure eights or if I was right, she would throw like literally frisbee pit boards at me in the middle of the air while I was riding. Uh, BB guns were a fun thing for her. Um, Jesus. Uh, it was, it was, <laughs> yeah. That was all like fun yeah. and games, yeah. you know? Like she would run, she, she, I think she ran Big Brian's foot over with the car. She rode him on the front of the car. She did all kinds of stupid stuff with us, but back then it was just normal. Yeah. So, so then as you got older, you started being like, hey, that's not that cool. Like I don't you know. know. I mean, until the moment that I got a girlfriend and, and I left. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it yeah. was whatever. Right. But no, she was. I mean, but she was she was tough though. Oh, sounds like it. Yeah, she was she was just tough. And, you know, and you know what's yeah. crazy is you have so much natural talent on a dirt bike. Like anybody could tell you that. Like yeah, you you can ride a motorcycle and make it beautiful yeah. at times. And then you look at like that, I, and I believe that's that's not taught. That's no, that's yeah. something inside of you, and yeah. you're good at it. coordination. You, I don't know if you were really good at tennis or ping no. pong. Ping pong, I sucked at, but I had okay. only one way. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think you had, you obviously have it takes massive coordination to ride a dirt bike, clutch, brake, shifter, mm -hmm. uh, elbow. You got to make sure everything is good. You made it look beautiful. She refined it for sure, but you had to have natural talent on a motorcycle. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Like, there's just no way what the way you rode. And yeah. I think that's what always got her so ticked off is if I didn't work. Yeah, you know, and, right. and for me. It was just a lot every day, yeah. over and over and over yeah. and over. I think it burnt me out really fast to where, like, I, I never got a chance to be a kid. Like, I wanted to grow. I wanted to, you know, have fun and do things. And, and again, that's where maybe not wanting to grind so hard when I, when I could have. Yeah. You know, I should have. Yep. And yep. looking back now, it's like, man, yep. I should have. Villeman's dad left after the 02 season. Mm -hmm. He was never really the same because he was like, wow, I got a chick. I, I can relax. Yeah. You know, I, I you know, I'm I just, he was just, just different. But see, like, that's the, that's huh. the thing, though. It wasn't it wasn't because okay. of Brittany. It, Brittany was the one that kept telling me over and over and over, 
to get away from the people that I had surrounded myself with. Yeah. And I just wasn't listening. Right. You know, and, right. and so if I would have listened to her, I'd have been probably down a better path than when I had found Yogi a lot sooner or right. been with someone like a Yogi yeah. who was trying to change my career around for the better. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, no, it wasn't because I got a girlfriend and she led me down this fun path. No, no. She no. didn't like that path that yeah. I was going down. And I just wouldn't listen. Right. So, yeah. Because I had already had a mom tell me what to do and I didn't like it. Yeah. You know, and, and then, you were like, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to do what I want to do. I, yeah. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Right. Was young and dumb but, and. But you almost can't blame you a little bit for it because of your upbringing. And you're like, well, of course, any kid's going to get a taste of, yeah. of some money and some fun and yeah. be like, well, this is better than getting a pit board thrown at me. Yeah. And ninja star style, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You can't blame you almost, right? Yeah. In a way. I so. mean, I used to go hide my dirt bikes out in the middle of the 100 acres so she couldn't find them because she was supposedly going to get rid of them all. Really? I used to go hide them all. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't ride good that day. Yeah. I was literally hiding my dirt bikes. Yeah, you're like, no, you're not taking Yeah, you're not bike. taking my dirt bikes. Like, this is my life. Yeah. But, you, you know, it was just, yeah. I got kicked out of the house a lot. Um, you know, I'm, I, for a few hours, and I moved back in. But, right. yeah, it was just, it was just and, like, and I know, imagine just, with Dane, you have a, such a different attitude, right? Like with Dane, like you're, I'm raising him. I want him to be, you know, a man. Yeah. yeah. But as far as when I watch him ride dirt bikes, like, yeah, yeah I do, like, dude, you're, you know, you're not going fast or like, yeah. give me some effort. Like, Let me I don't care you. that you're getting beat. Mm -hmm. Just give me some effort, like anything, you know, like but you're, not gonna, you you're, you're not going to ninja star a pit board at him. No, because I don't have to live through him. You yeah. know, she's not living through me. Yeah, no, yeah. but like, I don't have to live through him. You know, I don't yeah. need to push him to that point of what I was being pushed to. Yeah. You know, if he doesn't want to do it again, my entire life since our, my, you know, since he's been born, I've always said like, I didn't want him to ride dirt bikes. Yeah. Yeah. You did. Say so, that, yeah. If he doesn't want to do it or he isn't able to do it because, you know, he may not be that good, let's say, in a year or two from now. I'm not saying that he can't be. He can't be. But I won't I won't be bummed by yeah. any means, you know. Yeah. So yeah. to me, I'm not like, oh, go, 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 go. Well, back then, too, you were you were the guy bringing in the money, too, right? Like uh, at some point. Yeah. 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 You were you were the kid bringing in the money. To yeah. Make everything survive. So. That's tough, yeah. man. Yeah, what a life. What a what a di <laughs> what a like yeah, what a life you you yeah. different life you led. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 probably yeah, just something that no one can really relate to. I mean, there can be some John McEnroe, you know, uh these these prodigies yeah. from tennis, you know, things like that. Like there's a lot of child prodigies like yeah. you were. I mean, I, I saw I saw one of the interviews that said I need to find, you know, I need I need to find more Jesus. So I'm like, no, like that was a long time ago that I went through all the where people made me think that drinking was okay and yeah. and partying and stuff like that. Like no, like that was ages ago yeah you know like now obviously like I, it's not it's, there's no need yeah. you know i'm fine yep. but i should have not necessarily found jesus back then but i should have actually just listened to <laughs> to Brittany, <laughs> yeah. or, you know yeah. and, and and you know yeah done something better yeah no because so. there's you know there, there's such a fine line between just grinding and then yeah. like getting burnt out yeah you know what i mean and real like everything that you've worked for you hate now Right, there was just no more fun. Yes, you know, yeah, like yeah. I, I loved riding dirt bikes. My, you know, minus what Shorty said. Like yeah. I did love riding yes. dirt bikes because I was really good at it. I love play riding. I loved doing fun things. I love wheeling through the whoops. I love hitting whoops. Yeah, you know, and and I loved all that stuff. But it got to the point to where it got so routine that nothing changed, and yeah. and I had to make I had to make it fun for myself versus being able to go out actually go out and have fun yeah and it got to the point to where yeah i loved having fun and, and i loved having a girlfriend and, and all that stuff but and she wasn't allowing any of it so i'm yeah. like yeah well all right this is this is you know not going to be forever but you know yeah this could be so like yeah i'm, I'm gonna go that route yeah yeah so. you almost somebody needs to step in and be like listen colleen like you just you yeah. gotta back it down 10 percent or or fifty, what do we mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, she yeah. got me that far. Like, just yeah. just be the mom. I and mean, yeah. there's a lot of parents like that right now in the industry. That's like, look, you've gotten your kid this far. Yeah. You know, like, step back and be a father or be a mother to yeah. to your you know to your son who's trying to make it pro, who's trying to go somewhere, and watch them blossom. Yeah. You know, be there for them. Or whatever. Don't they get need, to the point but, to yeah. where it's going to destroy your relationship over something that mm -hmm. may not even that's not going to last forever. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. gonna be you're gonna be a parent forever. Don't ruin it over something stupid. Wow. So that's great advice. I mean, you look at all the parents around, the, and our sport, I feel like, is is pretty bad because it's so small. I think uh, I so. think motorsports is that way because yeah. when you read stories about F1 drivers yeah. and kart drivers, 
uh, mom and dad are funding the go karting. They're funding all yep. this. They're involved. They're they're driving their kids and a lot of that in that industry. Yeah. You know? So um, yeah. it's it's really big. Uh, and you're certainly, I mean, Yogi went through it, and yeah. Jake Weimer went through it, and RV went through it, and Bradshaw went through it, and it's a, it's an old story in our, in yeah, our industry. Yeah, it sure, is. You know? Unfortunate. Yeah, it really but is. Uh, you gotta go. No, no oh, okay. I don't know. Is um, she here? All right, check it yeah, out. Yeah, she's here, but oh, whatever. Okay. O R W, by the way, uh, Pulp of Mexico, offroadwarehouse.com. Uh, bringing uh, the latest in truck, Jeep, and Overland UTV and racing products from the industry's leading brands. They uh, sell uh, a tons of stuff, and they install everything they sell, from suspension kits, tires, and wheels to steps, bed accessories, and more. RW official sponsor of the Club MX guys. Uh, 